Here we have the Halo RS4 Plus smartwatch. With its multi UI main menu, you can make this watch look like an Apple Watch. The magnetic straps can be quickly taken off and it's comfortable. A 60Hz 1.78 inch Armitage display is guaranteeing a great user experience and you have 100 plus watch faces that you can download and use. Hey folks, my name is Leonard, you're watching the product reviewer and that's me. Now the feature that I probably love the most about this watch is the magnetic strap. Now every single link of this watch strap is magnetical and even strong, which makes it super easy to loosen or fasten the strap and you don't get those buckle marks that you normally get from a normal smartwatch band. The magnets in those links are pretty strong. The reason I mentioned this is because once I got this watch, I was a little bit worried that it might fall off during a run, but it sticks to your wrist pretty tight. I can even shake my hand like this and it's not going to fall off. The watch faces that we get on this watch are just amazing. You can even interact with some of them and you can pop little bubbles on the screen. On the watch itself, you can only have six watch faces, which are set by default. But there are over 100 watch faces in the Dial Store over in the Halo app that we can download. Every single one of them have a unique design and a different purpose. Some are minimalistic, some remind me a little bit of art. We have digital and analog watch faces. If you found your perfect watch face, you can quickly download it and use it as a background. Now since we are still talking about a budget smartwatch, there are some little things that are missing that I love about other smartwatches. And one of them is the customization. For example, that you can say what metrics you want to have displayed on your watch face or maybe change the hands of the dial or the numbers or something like that. But besides that, these are some of the best watch faces I have seen on any watch. The biggest reason these watch faces look so great is because of the huge display. This one right here is a 60Hz 1.78 inch Amal touch display with a resolution of 368 by 448 pixel, which are the exact same stats as we have on the Apple Watch 6. Now I've now had this watch on my wrist for the last couple of days and there was not one single time that this watch was lagging or acting slow. It was actually the total opposite. Everything you do on this watch feels so great. They even thought about small things when you open up an app, it kind of has a zoom effect or if you select things in the settings or in the sport mode, the next page kind of blends in from the side and I really love these little things. That's when you see that developers put a little thought into their products. Now, this watch is compatible with Android and iOS smartphones, it weighs in at 57 grams, it is IP68 waterproof and as you can see it is a little bit beefy in size with 45 by 37 millimeters. And we get an alloy aluminum case with a plastic bag on which we find all of our sensors. Now talking about that, this watch tracks a whole lot for its little price. This watch also tracks your blood oxygen level at all times during the night, which is something that you normally find on small watches that are a little bit more expensive. It would be nice if it could track the whole day, but just a wishful thinking. It has a stress and sleep tracker, a normal 24 seven heart rate tracker that can give you some hardware warnings whenever you hit a certain level. You can set those levels over in the Halo Fun app, for example, if you hit a very high or a very low heart rate. Let's take a quick look at the battery life. Now, as I said, I've had this bad boy on my wrist for the last four days and I have about 65% left. Now, I was using the SPO2 tracking during the night. I've set my brightness settings on max. I got a bunch of notifications and I did about workouts for one hour. Now, Halo states that you get about 10 days of battery life which seems about right. Let's finally talk about the activity tracking. And the Halo RS4 Plus tracks about 105 different sport modes. Now you have stuff like walking and running, but you also have other sports like snow sport, ball sports, dance or combat sports. In case you do some chicken chance stuff. Now before you start an exercise, you can of course set a target for the time, distance or consume calories. And now you just have to begin the exercise and it will track things like your distance time, pace, heart rate, burn calories and a whole lot of other metrics. Which is also a great feature is that you can control your music while you're doing an exercise. So you can skip a track, go back a track, play and pause and adjust the volume. Now as for the accuracy of this watch, the heart rate was only off by like 2 or 3% as I was comparing it to the Huawei. GT3 Pro, which was just freshly released, and the steps were only off by like, I don't know, you can say like 2%, which is really not a lot. As for my last words, for a 60 euro budget smartwatch, the Halo RS4 Plus might be the best smartwatch that you can get right now, if you don't need a built-in GPS. Now, it is also one of the best budget square looking smartwatches, of which part of it has to do with the high resolution, the AMOLED display, and the huge screen. Now, if you would ask me if I would 
get it, I would probably say yes, it is definitely in my top three budget smartwatches. Now folks, that's already it for the video. If you like it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. It would really help me out a lot. And with that being said, see you next time. Peace.